If the planet goes into a mass extinction, shit, man. That, that'd be cool. You know, I'd rather we all leave together. You know, like, let's get out of here. Let's go wherever we're meant to be. You know, I, but I don't want it to just be LA, because that would suck. <laughs> you know, like, I don't want no big ass earthquake to just wipe us all out. And yeah, no, LA's cool. Dude, it's so crazy we're still here. I mean, all it takes is just like to be like knocked off our axis just a little bit, right? And then it's over. Or a big ass rock <laughs> coming from outer space. We're lucky, we're on borrowed time. There's a lot of shit in the movie. It's called Kuso, uh, which means shit. So <laughs> I think that uh, a lot of people, a lot of my friends, they think that. Uh, that I'm like all about gore and disgusting things all the time. People send me disgusting pictures all the time now because of the movie. It's like, well, you know, Kuso was a movie. That was that was that. I don't need to see, you know, decapitation photos or whatever. Like, I'm, it's fine. You don't have to do that. It was the world. The world of the story came first. Uh, yeah, I I, uh, I grew up like in L.A. I was in that '94 earthquake which was uh, traumatic for me. I was 10 years old, and uh, I think the feeling has just stuck with me for so long. You know, I think uh, if you live in L.A. and you've been through that, you always think about what the big one's going to be like, right? Like, what is this big one that's going to happen? And uh, so I wanted to make something that kind of touched that anxiety a little bit. And uh, it, was, it was somewhat therapeutic for me to, to dig into that and just, just to see, you know. But I also live in... I live in Studio City where everyone is like so beautiful and pretty and I just wanted to show everyone their ugliness and show everyone their ugly asses like just in their faces. I love bug out cinema. I love anything that's not the same fucking movies that I've seen a million times. That was another in thing that inspired me so much is just that like, I've just been so bored with these fucking movies the past few years. A movie that I really inspired this one was a movie called Funky Forest. It's a Japanese film that was done early 2000s. That was that was great. Um, you know, Tetsuo the Iron Man was great. Happiness of the Katakuris was great. Visitor Q, all those movies were uh, hugely influential uh, Japanese films, mostly. I don't know if, if the goal was to fuck with people, but I did feel like if I was gonna touch on certain things, I'm gonna go there, you know, go in on those things. Uh, but it's true though, I, I, I did want the first 10 minutes to, to you know, let people know, I guess, I, sh I shot up in the air, you know what I'm saying? I let off a few in the air in the first 10 minutes and if, you know, you still stick around, you might like it. I'm all, lately, I'm all over the place listening to stuff, you know, I think I think I listened to the Future album more than anything this year, though, <laughs> which is, is funny to say because, you know, I don't know if I'm the biggest Future fan, but I fucking have not listened to much else. <laughs> no. You know, I think I just, I needed some, like, really absurd music to listen to loud, like, you know, not give a fuck. And, um, but I've also been listening to, like, Ryuichi Sakamoto, you know, amazing uh, pianist, composer. I've been listening to him and... Uh, then I listen to Playboy Cardi, you know, and then it's just, it's all over the place, man. But uh, I, I'm, I'm really excited about the Shabazz Palaces record that comes out tomorrow. Because I've heard one of them already, but I get a new one to check out tomorrow. I'm so excited for that. I love them. Mm -hmm.